Hi everybody, Nancy here. I just wanted to show you something that I'm working on right now. I've decided to go ahead and make this my the my journal of choice. <laughs> you know, but I'll probably change next week. But in the meantime, I've decided to do that. And I personally don't use mood trackers at all because I'm First of all, I really don't care what my mood is every day because it rarely, rarely ever changes, and I'm I'm not going to track it for sure. But um, there's other things that I do want to track that I want to kind of compare either month over month or th from January through February, you know. So anyway, this particular mood tracker, this page, is something that, already exist but it doesn't exactly match what I'm looking for so I was going to go ahead and just write over it however you know I do like the the top chart and I can use that for something not mood tracker but I'm rather than copy over it I'm going to go ahead and duplicate it so that over on the right on my pages toolbar the one two three fourth thing is a duplicate so I'll just do that and now I still have that mood tracker but I'm going to put something on top of it now I want to go to my um, iCloud because I you know I collect stuff if it's free I'll go ahead and download it even if it's not something that I love because um, I know that I can modify it to make it more like what I like. Like pastel anything is like my first, my first instinct is it turns me off. I don't like it. But, um, you know, this particular one, this blue. Now, I could use this with the brown book because brown and blue does look good together. But I just don't love it. So I'm going to go ahead and change it. I pulled it in, and I, and I do like butterflies. I like the whole idea of butterflies. You know, the metamorphosis and going from a caterpillar to a butterfly. That's I love that idea. I just don't love them as a design, so I probably will change that. I'll put something on top of it, but that's neither here nor there. If I go to... Um, my edit menu go to image and edit i'm going to change the hue and drag until i find a color that i want to use and i i know that right there is the brown see it's a okay right there it's brown so it'll match say no i don't want to save and continue just do done all right, so now I've got a brown one that almost perfectly matches the existing colors I've already got on this page. And you see that this is, oh, I, when I did the save and continue, it made two copies. Let me delete that. Um, so I've got this one now. And to keep it from moving around and, all, you know, constantly having to be careful of selecting that i'm going to go ahead and go to selection tool and go to image and i'm going to create page background image i'm just going to click on that and do create so now that image is no longer selectable i can't select it because it is the background if I go to the background down at the bottom on my layers menu and drag to the left, see it's part of it now. Only for this page. It didn't do it for everything else. It's just for this page. And um, my links still work. So it's not like it affected the links. So, okay. Let me, how do I get back? <laughs> So, okay, it was Mood Tracker. I need to change that um, and add that I've got a habit tracker there, too. 
All right. So now this is ready to use. That's all. I just wanted to show you that don't throw out the bath water with the baby with the bath water. If there's something you don't like, it's easy to change it and make it something that you do like. All right. Anyway, y'all have a great day here. Bye.